Hello and welcome to Stadia Bytes with your host Mr. Bytes and today I'll be talking about Bless Online. So recently I've been looking up the recommended hardware list, so your operating system, how your computer should be set up to play this game, and I managed to find it. So I went to the Japanese website and I found this. On this it says you need how to run the game and what they recommend. So to run the game they recommend you need a GTX 1060 and also a AMD Ryzen 7 which 1060 yeah but I have seen a 1050 play this game at the same FPS as a 1060 because the game is kind of limited at around 60 FPS they, re uh, they recommend an SSD as well but I'm playing on an SSHD which is a hybrid which is a lot cheaper and I'm not getting much of a difference compared to an SSD. <laughs> so yeah, Ryzen 7 for instance is kind of overkill. And they're required to run the game. A GTX 760 they recommend. But I've seen a 750 Ti run this game on medium settings. And also I've seen a, well I've heard about a 640 a GT 640 run this game on low settings around 50 to 60 mark so yeah they kind of overestimated the game so I'll be showing you guys my recommended okay so this is my recommended so on the left you got the minimum and on the right you got the maximum and in the middle you got kind of in between so the medium all these will get on average based on the setting group they're in so low hardware being low settings. You should be seeing around 50 to 60 FPS on low, but only in open areas, not built up towns, and not in mass PvP. <coughs> and this is what I recommend. So if you go to the minimum side, 8 gigs of RAM is enough to run the game. People say there's a memory leak, but I haven't run into it yet. My game runs it says it's using 4 gigs, but if you check it's actually sitting around 6 to 8, but normally it's 6. With more RAM it sits at 8, but when I'm at 8 gigs of RAM only, it sits at 6. And I recommend a GT640 for the low settings. A standard hard drive run at its max speed, so a 7200 RPM. You need 55 gigabytes of free storage though. And you need Dara X9. So that's the same for all of them. <laughs> Processor wise for low end, I do recommend an i5 still. Because I do like having 4 cores and 4 threads. You're looking at least at 3 gigahertz of like performance on it, processing power. So make sure to have around that. If you've got slightly less, you should be less than 60 for FPS, but you should be able to play still. For medium, I recommend an i5 still because I don't really notice much difference between these CPUs. If you keep a 4 core CPU, so like a Ryzen 3 for instance, technically you shouldn't have any issues. You don't really need loads of cores to play games. We're not in that sort of era yet. <laughs> this game is built on Unreal 3, so it doesn't require loads of cores. But having at least four cores makes you can be a run nicely. One core for your windows, one core for the game, and two left for you to mess around with. <laughs> Eight gigs of RAM again, and a GTX 1050 Ti or an AMD Radeon HD 7870. I recommend an SS HD because that's what I'm running and I have no issues. This is medium settings. And high settings, I recommend a Ryzen 5 1600, that's what I'm currently using, and I have no issues. Mrs. Bites is using an AMD FX8350, and she has no issues as well, she's at the same FPS as me. Even though I have a slight bit of hardware, the game is currently set up that it caps around 63 FPS. I'm using 16 gigs of RAM, but I recommend 12. That gives you 6 for the game. And then gives you another six, which is like Windows is one gig, YouTube, 
recording stuff like that so you've got extra space i recommend a gtx 1050 ti or an amd rx 750 or 450 uh a 750 <laughs> a 570 or a 470 uh, Mrs. Bites is using the 1050 Ti and she has no issues. Again, I recommend an SSHD with at least 55 gigabytes of free storage or an SSD. To be honest, a Fire CUDA, which is a SSHD, is plenty. This is on high settings and she, again, you're looking about 50 to 60 FPS, but again, not in cities or in mass PvP. Anyways, guys, if you like this video, press the like button, if you dislike, press dislike. I'll put a link in the description to the official so you guys can see that yourself and see where I got it from. Anyways guys, I'll see you guys in the next video. So remember to subscribe and I'll see you next time. So peace out.